The radiative transfer equation describes energy transfer between mediums and interactions with different features. Let's start with some ground surface features. I'm going to use the sun as our source of electromagnetic radiation. We then bring in our eye in the sky, a sensor on either a satellite or airborne platform. From the sun we start with all the irradiance or energy that's available at the top of the atmosphere. Irradiance is a term that refers to energy at all angles or directions. Some of this energy radiates down to the surface of the Earth, which will then bounce off individual features and eventually reach the sensor to be recorded as radiance. Radiance has a specific angular component. Considering the energy that is emitted from the sun, not all of it actually reaches the ground. Some is scattered within the atmosphere. Some of this scattered light can then also reach the ground. Therefore, the total irradiance reaching the ground is the sum of that which directly hits it, plus the additional indirect source. Now, some of that energy is scattered within the atmosphere will actually even make it back to the sensor without even making contact with the ground. Okay, so our satellite sensor measures at sensor radiance, but if we're in the field, we would be measuring total radiance or at surface radiance. Therefore, we need to reconcile the two of those to make field and image measurements more comparable. So to retrieve the surface radiance from the satellite sensor, we need to subtract the atmospheric component. That all sounds very complicated. What does that actually mean? Let's start again with a scene on the ground. A satellite will record reflected energy and create an image in the process. An image is made up of pixels and pixels are made up of numbers. All of these numbers are equal to the light reflected from ground surface features plus those scattered in the atmosphere. If we want to remove the atmosphere then, how do we know how many numbers contribute to our pixels? We can set up instrumentation in the field to measure atmospheric gases such as carbon dioxide, ozone and water to calibrate our imagery, but this can be complicated and expensive. Another option is to go back to our image and select a feature we know to reflect very little light. This should appear as a very dark pixel. We've already established that pixels in this are the sum of light reflected from ground surface features plus the atmosphere. However, we are assuming that our ground feature is so dark that it does not actually reflect light at all. We can see therefore that any numbers in the pixel must be solely attributed to the atmosphere. Okay, so back to our image. We can now subtract the atmosphere from the satellite image to retrieve realistic values of light reflectance from ground features.